started on things like this, uh, bicycles, which are actually fairly viable at this point. You could get a setup, cost you about a thousand bucks. That setup will take you typically about 20 miles without even touching the pedals. When you say viable, well, how long has it been viable? Well, probably like the last five years, the battery technology has come along enough, uh, lithium battery in particular, has come along enough to uh, um, offset the additional weight that the lead acid battery adds to the bicycle. So this bicycle here is probably about 70 pounds, whereas if we were working with lead batteries, that bicycle would be uh, well over 100 pounds. This is a, a lithium polymer pack right here. It's kind of a, a cheap hobby battery that's kind of rigged together. These are kind of our pit bikes. I really don't have anything that's uh, put together well as far as bicycles. I mean, like I use zip ties to hold the battery on. The motor is in the hub of the wheel. Suspension is kind of nice because when you get to speeds about 20 miles per hour, the thing gets pretty darn bumpy. So, uh, you know, if you can get a full suspension bike, that helps out a lot. And this is all a kit that anybody can put on? Well, this, is, this happens to be a 72 volt kit, so uh, you've probably noticed the bike's pretty quick. 48 volt would probably be more appropriate to just uh, commuting. Well, I typically I just sell the kit, which is a motor and a controller and a throttle. Um, the, the deal uh, gets to be like, you know, you buy a bike, it costs $1,000. You buy the kit, it costs $700. And then you buy a couple hundred dollar battery. Uh, so I tend to let people kind of build their own custom kits and that way they kind of get more what they want. This is a battery that consists of uh, four cells, and these are normal RC car batteries. Um, the power is fed to the controller. The controller takes your throttle input and modulates the power to this brushless motor you see in the hub. You guys want to give it a ride at all? Uh, how difficult it is? Uh, not too bad, actually. This one doesn't have pedals, so no okay. pedaling. Okay. Uh, the throttle's here. It's, okay. it's pretty powerful, so be careful. Okay. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Oops, it's true, it's really it's quite torquey. <laughs> oh, wow. This bike is uh, approaching about 50 miles per hour. A typical e-bike would approach uh, 20 miles per hour legally. You could get some uh, that go about 30 miles per hour, probably legally. Yeah, you get used to them. It takes a minute to go that fast on something like that. Wow. I totally feel the power of the of the engine. It's uh, really... Exactly, that'll climb hills with a 220 pound person on it. And the, the best thing about all this stuff is once you've paid for the battery and the charger and everything, the charge is virtually free mm -hmm. at that point. Yeah.